Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course we talked about the sandbox mode in Windows. Windows Sandbox, first of all, I forgot to mention in the other video, is available only on versions of uh, Windows that are Pro or um, um, uh, anything that's, you know, anything that's not home, basically. Home version is the only one that does not have Windows Sandbox. But uh, if you have Pro, prof uh, Professional, if you have uh, the uh, business version, if you have uh, educational version and so on, they all have it. But in the home version, it does not exist. And that is sad because I think even home users could be uh, using this. So why sandbox mode is more than for experienced users? Of course, when you launch uh, Windows Sandbox, you have Windows within a window. And it behaves like Windows. So you can actually go into the Start menu. You can install stuff. You can do all sorts of things in this sandboxed version. By the way, if you're running an older version of Windows 10, it is not a bad idea to actually uh, update yourself to the latest version. Windows Sandbox had a huge increase in performance in the last couple of versions of Windows. And just for that, it's really worth it to be at the latest version, 21H2, if possible. So, of course, one of the first reasons a lot of people might be using the Windows Sandbox mode is to test software that might actually crash a PC, test anything that you're not sure of, run any software that you're not sure if it's clean or might have viruses in it. Anything that runs within this Windows is strictly in this Windows. Also, Remember that every time you start the sandbox, it's like a complete reinstall of Windows. You're starting from scratch with the same basic settings. Everything that you did before is gone. Every changes you made are gone. This is why even a standard user, if you have Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, you should install this uh, Windows sandbox because one of the things that you might want to do is go and play with the settings and see what it does and go and change things around. You might be scared of changing things within your main windows, but there's no scare in, a, in changing things within the sandboxed version of Windows for a very simple reason is that once you click that X on the upper right corner, whatever you did, whatever you change, if you messed up something, it doesn't matter. It's going to come back as a fresh new Windows like you did a reinstall every time. So it's a great place to learn, actually, because you could go and change the settings and examine the effects of these settings. And you will, of course, know that it's safe and it's all right. So that is one good reason to have it, because it could be a learning experience. And you might want to try things that you've seen online. Maybe you've seen an online free course for Windows and you're afraid to try these options in Windows because you're afraid of messing up something. You're afraid of messing up something. But then do them in the Windows Sandbox. And there you'll be able to apply all of that. And what you like and when you see works, then you'll be able to apply it into the real, real Windows that you have on your PC if you want. So it's a great idea to go around and play with all of this in here. It is a great idea to have all of that working here. So this is pretty cool because it means that you can actually have a learning experience. And of course, any software you aren't sure of, anything that you think you're not sure should be run, you can run it within the uh, sandbox mode. You have internet access. It's really, it works exactly like any version of Windows that you would install from scratch and just go to whatever website you want to go to and it's going to work. So lots of reasons why Windows Sandbox could be fun. And of course you put full screen. By putting it full screen, it's like having standard Windows. You won't, you know, go and click the wrong start button, for example. 
and you'll be able to go and do whatever you want into the menus and, and, and you can install software in here, uh, download anything from the internet that you wanted to try out and you're not sure of. You go, you download it, you install it in here, you look at the behavior, you look how it works. And once you close the Windows Sandbox, everything's gonna be gone. Whatever you did, how many hours you used it, you're gonna start from scratch the next time around and it does not affect your main window at all. So I think Windows Sandbox is one of the great features that Microsoft implemented in Windows 10. And it is available also for Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.